This is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Delighted to be joined backstage by the Gwart. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? You're here in Newcastle. Early impressions of our city? It's nice. It's very busy. I saw a place that was crowded here early. People, people were falling out, you know, falling on the ground after they come out the club, so they're having a good time here. <laughs> that, that, that definitely sounds like Newcastle, Clarissa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have the locals been warm to you? Because obviously Savannah's our girl up here. Have you been treated with respect? I appreciate it with a lot of respect though, and a lot more people know me than they know her so I feel like um, pretty much at home I, and, and I won the Olympics close to here and I'm just ready to come back here and fight again. Brilliant. Obviously we've only got a couple of minutes so I'll ask you about that. Presuming Savannah does the business tonight, uh -huh. are you looking to come to Newcastle to, to put that one and do it? Um, I would like I would like for us to fight in a, in a, in a bigger venue, you know, if it's not here in the, in the Newcastle, maybe uh, Manchester or Wembley, whatever. And uh, I think we should be able to sell the uh, sell the place out. They love boxing here. They love a, a women's boxing here. And uh, yeah, hopefully she do her thing tonight so we can fight next. Good luck. I have to ask, Savannah put it on top on your tours in Cardiff. Have you got anything in plan for tonight if Savannah does the business? I'm um, sure. I'm going to congratulate her and tell her that I'll, that I'll see her next. But what but what she did in Cardiff was trashy and classless. And, um, world, and world champions don't move like that. Um, also, she jumps in there and she doesn't even have her belt on her because she knows she's not deserving of it because she didn't beat the champ to be the champ. I had to vacate my belt to be undisputed up at 154. So um, I'm not going to be as trashy, but I am going to say something to her tonight, speak about her performance, and tell her that I'm excited to fight to fight to, uh, to face her next to show her that you know she's levels beneath me and um, she's going to have to back up all that trash talk for the past couple years. I mean, can't wait to see that live on Sky Clarissa. Very last one. Can you tell us why you versus Savannah Marshall is the biggest fight in women's boxing? I mean, truthfully, you want the liar or do you want the truth? The truth? Well, the truth is it's not. You know, when, when you look at accomplishments, um, she's only a one title holder and one division. And I'm a three-time division world champion, 12-time world champ. And we all know two-time Olympic gold medalist. That's not to brag, but that's just facts. Um, me, me, a me of fighting her, and also look at her competition that she's fought against. She has a lot of knockouts, congrats to her, but she hasn't fought against the best opponents. She hasn't fought against those those number ones and number twos uh, uh, up in the weight class. I beat three different girls. Well, I beat a lot of girls, but all of them were number one, all of them were number two girls. I've, I've never fought a, fought a tomato can. She has girls on her record whose record is three and 25, 11 and 60. I would never get a, you know, get a chance to fight those kind of opponents. So I think that She's used my name to get her to fame for all these years. And uh, I guess she must said it to the right person and, and the right person got wind of it. So that's what she's living off of a win that happened 10 years ago in the amateurs. But um, I'm skill levels above her. And I'm excited to show that once we fight. Brilliant. Clarissa Shields, I'll let you get on there. Can't wait to see you later. You keep safe.